The PlayStation 5 console design reveal date? A separate event? Let's talk about it. What is going on everybody? How are y'all doing? Before we get started with this video, you already know, give it a thumbs up, broski. We about to hit you with some flames, broski. Alright, bro. It looks like the, the, the design of the PlayStation 5 will be at a separate event. Not in June. Wait for it. Wait for it. July. All right, there is a leak circulating the internet. This is coming from BGR.com. And the leaker is saying the final design of the PlayStation 5 will not be presented at the PlayStation 5 digital showcase on June 11th. Now, makes a little sense, and he's going to say he's going to further elaborate, and it gets juicy. But on what he just said, it makes sense because when Sony um, announced this event, um, for for June 11th, they said the future of gaming. So I'm expecting this conference to be focused on the games. This is what he continues to say. There's a reason why the final design of PlayStation 5 will be officially unveiled on July 7th. It's so obvious, it's not even funny. But the public haven't realized it yet and still won't realize it until they're told. I'll go over it in another time. And so he's saying that there's a reason why the console design will be in July. And he gives a specific date, July 7th. I want to see the console design. More importantly, I want to see the game. So I'm really hyped for tomorrow's event. Your boy will be live streaming it. Let's get hyped tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. PlayStation 5 games, boy. I don't know why I did this for games, but we want to see the games, boy. I have a theory on what Sony's going to do for this console. I'm predicting there's going to be some kind of hybrid integration. Some way where there's going to be another screen and you can play your games on the go. They see what the Switch is doing and they're not leaving all that Switch money off the table especially in japan they're gonna have to have an answer for the switch in japan japan is big on handheld gaming and so sony did come out and say they're not making a hand another handheld and i agree it's gonna be a hybrid just my prediction bro just my prediction so i found this interesting july 7th mark your calendars according to this leak we'll see if it's true or not but there is even more epic news. It's now being reported that the PlayStation 5 has officially began production. Meaning, PlayStation 5 consoles, as we speak right now, are being produced. That is great, and it lets us know they are on target, on track for a holiday 2020 release. Both major manufacturers, both Xbox and PlayStation, they both come out and said they are launching their consoles this holiday, no delay. And the fact that we have a um, confirmation that uh, the production of the, the PlayStation 5 has officially gone into production, that is great news. Now, the big question is when? When will these consoles launch and who is going to try to beat who to the market? There were buzzings that um, Sony is going to try to go for October to get a month jump on Xbox. But we have to wait and see. Speaking of Xbox, speaking of Xbox, we have to talk about Phil Spencer's recent comments. He was recently interviewed. I'm pulling up the, um, the quote. He was really recently interviewed um, by a UK outlet. 
And he said some interesting thing. He also was in, interviewed, <coughs> excuse me, by TheWire.com. And he pretty much said the same thing. He said, Xbox is not just focused on consoles. Now, this is what I got. This is, I'm going to share one quote and I'm going to share my thoughts. This is what one of the things he said. Our strategy does not revolve around how many Xboxes I sell this year. We're focused on delivering services through Xbox Game Pass, which allows people to build their library for a monthly fee. What I get from this is, it sounds like Phil Spencer's trying to curve and um, um, put in check the expectations for the Xbox Series X sales this year. Now, like I've always said, the hardware on this console is dope. 12 teraflops of computing power. But this is my concern right now with Xbox. If you have an Xbox One X, what's the big incentive to spend $400, $500 for Xbox Series X? All of the games that are coming to the Xbox Series X will also be on the Xbox One X. Matter of fact, if I get an Xbox Series X, I'm going to be using my Elite 2 controller, the same controller. So... I almost feel, and even when the console was first revealed, I was hyped for the console, but I also get a, I got a sameness to it, meaning it feels like it's a console that I still have, and to Xbox credit, that's what they're trying to do, they're trying to eliminate console generations, where you could just carry your, all your games over, and it's really the same system, I have a feeling when I boot up my Xbox Series X, and I boot up my Xbox One X, it's going to be the same exact operating system, <laughs> it's going to be like, um, the same consoles. Now, PlayStation is taking a much different approach to their next-gen console. They've already come out and said, PlayStation 5 exclusives, you can only play it on your PlayStation 5. Yes, some may say, oh man, I want to play those games on my PlayStation 4. But, Sony is giving you an incentive to buy a PlayStation 5. And I have to say, even from the controller, I just feel like the PlayStation 5 will feel more new to me. Like the controller design is um, gone away from the traditional um, controller design. And I feel like they're making, even though it's not as powerful, um, they're making a, a newer, a new console. It just feels new um, if I were to get it. Now, the big thing is the games. I want to see what games both um, uh, manufacturers show starting June, June, June. Tomorrow, tomorrow, PlayStation 5. Let's see. I've been playing through those um, PlayStation exclusives. Check out my gaming channel, Obi-Wan Plays Gaming Championship. That's where I do my Let's Plays, my playthroughs of different games. Going through my PlayStation backlog right now. What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All. Oh. Thanks, gaming. And bro, we out, boy. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I gotta hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at obi one plays and that's it you're in for the giveaway but wait there's more do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy become a sponsor three ways to join one subscribe on twitch if you have twitch prime you can do it for free two click the join button right here on youtube and become a member and the third way to join patreon.com backslash ob1 plays you'll thank me later also check out the swag bro links are in the description i'll see you later deuces